CataractCoach.com. Today, we're talking about two important topics for residents. Listen in and learn something new. Good morning from Beverly Hills here at the Surgery Center. About five in the morning, just about ready to get started with a fun day. Pretty soon, this whole place will be hopping and busy with patients. And we'll be in our zone doing some beautiful surgery. And I just got back from a trip to the East Coast where I talked with a lot of residents. And what was interesting with the residents is I asked them, what are you worried about? And some residents said, you know, I'm worried that I'm not at the right training program, that another training program would have given me more cases or more of this, or you know what? I said, don't think that way. First, understand that when you're a resident, those first 200, 300 cases, that's just the very beginning of the surgical learning curve. So whether your residency program gives you 300 cases or 100 cases, doesn't really make a difference. What matters is how much do you get out of each of those cases? Is every case you do a step towards being better and better? And that's the key. At the end of every surgery, even if you only do three surgeries that day or two, what did you learn from every case? What were the take home points? Was there an important lesson? Were there any complications? What could you have done better? What'd you do pretty well? And are you dedicated enough to go back that same evening and watch your game day footage? Watch the video of you operating. That's the key to getting better and better. Remember, it's the horse, not the track that wins the race, right? A good horse can race on any track. And similarly, it's the cook, not the kitchen that actually makes the meal. And a good cook can actually improvise with whatever instruments are around or whatever food ingredients to come up with a delicious meal. So that's you. So whatever program you're at, it doesn't make a difference. More of it is you and less of it's the program. Yes, it's great to have an amazing program with great mentors and a lot of surgical volume and a varied surgical experience. But remember, that's the beginning of your curve of learning. And you can do great at any program. And remember, the majority of what I do here today, I didn't learn in residency. I learned on my own after the culmination of my residency training program. So the residency training program is just the basics, just to get you started. And then your obligation is to be your own toughest critic, learn from every case, and keep learning throughout the entirety of your career. And keeping that in mind, you will have an incredible and fruitful and amazing career, helping tens of thousands of patients and having true satisfaction inside. Another good question from a resident was, is it too early for me to start watching cataract coach videos if I'm just a first year resident or even a med student? The answer is no, get into it, enjoy it. You won't grasp everything just yet because you haven't done enough surgery, but the little things will stick in your head and you'll hear these rules over and over again, pivot in the incision, take pride in that incision or how to get the rexus done these things will slowly seep in. The best way to learn, I'm telling you, is a five minute a day commitment. Five minutes a day, watch the video every day, even if you don't understand it now, that's all right. Because over the course of more and more time, these things will start to sink in and you will absolutely learn so much. You know, the beauty of video learning, and I have to first say thank you to Bob Osher, who is the godfather of cataract surgery video learning. I've been learning from him for more than 20 years, and he's truly the pioneer here. Every time I operate or make these videos, I hear his voice in the back of my head. So he is an amazing mentor. But what I learned from his videos is that you can compress the learning curve. Do you have to do a thousand cases in order to encounter that one in a thousand complication and then figure out how to deal with it at the, at the time? Right there on the spot, on the OR table, under stress? No, learn it ahead of time. You watch the video, you study the video ahead of time, and when that issue happens, You'll recognize it instantly. And more importantly, you'll know how to react to it. I'll give you a good example. Knock on wood, I've never in my entire career had an expulsive or choroidal hemorrhage, but it can happen. I don't know how to actually drain it from personal experience, but I've watched Professor Ramesh Ayala's videos, and it's here on Cataract Culture, look it up. How to effectively deal with and drain those choroidal hemorrhages. And that's a super important thing. It's in my head, I've watched that video 20 times. So in the rare chance it does happen in the future, I know what to do. And I won't be so lost. 
So the beauty again of learning from these videos every day is it compresses your learning curve. You don't need to do 10,000 cases to encounter these very rare complications. You can see them all here on Cataract Coach. You know, there was a video that we posted once about a year ago of a little bit of a, looks like a plume of smoke at the front of the phaco tip, the beginning of the case. And that was viscoelastic blocking the port and the patient got a wound burn. I got a video a few months later from a resident who said, look, look at my video. I saw the little bit of a plume, I stopped. I came out of the eye, I knew from the video that we saw on Cataract Coach, that's a blocked tip, it's going to be a fake a wound burn if I continue, so I stopped. Just watching that video prevented that patient from having 10 diopters of irregular stigmatism. It made the patient happier with a better outcome, the surgeon was happier, so keep up the learning, commit to it. Five minutes a day is all we ask. You'll get something good out of it, and over the course of a year or two or three, just imagine how much you've compressed that surgical learning curve and how you were able to see so many rare complications that one day when they happen to you, you're gonna be sitting pretty. Thanks for watching, time for me to get to work.